How's it going, people? Well, I was in the mood for a chub, so I figured I'd probably have to read some of this. Justify it. It's been a crazy day. I have a lot of crazy days. That's how I make my living. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder if I shook this thing somehow. A little bit foamy. Damn it. I'm really off today. Okay. Section 62 of Doctrine and Covenants. Pay attention, it's probably, it's bound to be important. Revelation. Give it through. Joseph Smith, the prophet. On the bank of the Missouri River, August 13th, 1831. <laughs> on this day, the prophet and his counselors met several elders who were on their way to the land of Zion. And after joyful salutations, received this revelation. Uh, to the encouragement of all, so it was a good revelation. Labors of faithful elders commended. Those on their way to Zion told of the prospective return in continuation of their ministry. Well, that's a short little chapter. Section. Section. One, behold and hearken, O ye elders of my church, saith the Lord your God, even Jesus Christ your advocate, who knoweth the weakness of man, and how to succor them. Yeah, they've been succored all right. Who are tempted to, and verily, mine eyes are upon those who have not as yet gone up into the land of Zion. Come on, you gotta see it. It's a magic kingdom in Missouri. Therefore, your mission is not full if you haven't seen Zion. What's wrong with you? Right. Three. Nevertheless, ye are blessed. For the testimony which ye have borne is recorded in heaven. For the angels to look upon. They rejoice over you. <laughs> They're so happy. <laughs> They're in heaven, but they envy you for some reason. Or they're just proud of you or something. <sighs> All right. And your sins are forgiven you. Look, I made it through verse 3. Wow. 4. And now continue your journey. Assemble yourselves upon the land of Zion and hold a meeting and rejoice together and offer a sacrament unto the Most High. That's not quite me yet, but I'm getting there. Uh, five. And then you may return to bear record 
Yay. Even all together, or two by two, as seemeth you good, it mattereth not unto me. <laughs> Only be faithful, that's what matters, and declare glad tidings unto the inhabitants of the earth, or among the congregations of the wicked. Uh, all right, six. Behold, I, the Lord, have brought you together that the promise may be fulfilled, that the faithful among you should be preserved and rejoice together in the land of Missouri. I, the Lord, promise the faithful and cannot lie. That means the prophet can't lie either, then, since he's speaking for the Lord. I guess it means it's true. How about that? And Muhammad's right also. They're all right. It's all right. No, it ain't. Uh, seven. I, the Lord, am willing. If any among you desire to ride upon horses or upon mules or in chariots, he shall receive this blessing. If he receive it from the hand of the Lord with a thankful heart in all things. Eight. These things remain with you to do according to judgment and the directions of the Spirit. Nine. But first. Ooh. Behold, the kingdom is yours. And behold, and lo, I am with the faithful always, even when they're being murdered by a serial killer and going, help me, God! <laughs> you, you don't seem to be helping me. Uh, that was twisted, I know. But, you know, tsunami victims, you know, <laughs> all those people. <sighs> right there. Even so, amen. Sorry about that tangent there. That was a bad taste. Not bad. Uh, that was it for 62. That's all I can stand. I hope you learned something. I guess God's always with you. And you could ride horses or chariots. And uh, faithfulness is good. If it's focused in the right direction. If you have faith in the wrong thing, it's bad all of a sudden. Just saying. So let me know if you learned something, and we're going to get through this. <laughs> Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because, I mean, so many others are. Make yourself one of them.